Ice Time Online, and uh, I'm David Minion, and my partner Brendan. Where's Brendan Burke? Bracken walks in, shot scores! Oh, Off the back wall, Talbot scores! Oh, back to Eller, scores! Oh, Wagner one timer, he scores! Oh, Rebound scores! Front rebound there, Palushai scores! Oh, Tops to the net, scores! Shoot, scores! Shoot, scores! Shoots it from a short angle, scores! They've made rebound, Talbot scores! Blue Jack dropped it off, Sonny scores! Back up with a shot from Yuma with the point, Stastny scores! On a backhand wraparound, scores! Two Reeves to Porter in front, they score! Go Wagner rolls it towards the goal line, it's in! Trevor Baker, brand new member of the Riverman Hall of Fame. Congrats to you, sir. Thank you very much. What are you doing now? You're living in Edmonton, but what's going on in your life? Uh, not too much. Just uh, helping my dad out with his business, uh, automotive business, and you know, keeping low key. You look like you could still play. Uh, no comments. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you uh, are you past the, the days of, of having a player's mindset and going on with your with your life? Yes and no. Well, uh, you still got the itch sometimes. Yes, I do. Uh, there's been rumors of me coming back and stuff like that, and never know. We'll never know. We'll, never we'll, say never. Never say never. Uh, we'll see what happens. You know. Yeah, that's good. The where the time you spent in Peoria, parts of six seasons, probably defines who you were as a player. Yeah, you know, I think uh, I came in, if you remember, I came in my first year, 20 year old uh, or 21 year old kid, uh, trial contract, and you know, everybody says, you know, 50 50 chance and everything. Well, I had less than a 50 50 chance making it, and I think what I showed that uh, in that training camp uh, meant a lot. And as I went on through my career, I think I grew as a player and as a person. Who's like this? Anywhere you Right now, I'm just in awe, so it's, I just keep reflecting on the times we had here and stuff like that, and the road trips we had and stuff like that. And yeah, you said, you know, uh, do you ever get out of the mindset of being a player? No, you never do. You try, you try and move on, but uh, you, you never really do. You know, you wake up some mornings and it's like, oh, practice. Oh, wait a minute, no, I'm not, you know? <laughs> Game five, the CHL finals against the game. You guys lose the first two here. You got the next three down there where they won 22 in a row. You're done. No team comes back from that, right? Uh, yeah, that's a thing. You know, I, I remember perfectly sitting on the bench, and uh, I think it was actually John Spoltor that uh, skated by our bench. Uh, there was a couple minutes left in the game, and uh, when we were here, said you make sure you guys bring your golf clubs when you come to Florida and uh, going in there I with that kind of record you know uh, when you go down south back in those days that those were tough places to play there's a lot of distractions and, you know uh, us playing up here in the cold weather you go down there you're in shorts and everything like that like we had a lot to deal with but uh, the great group of guys and coaching staff and training staff and everything we had uh, they blocked all that out for us, you know, they really did, and, you know, in the end it paid off, and it shows. Me smile? I'll smile. Okay, whatever you want that one. <laughs> smile. First time for the When the ECHL era came to an end, you know, I think one of the emotional, most emotional gestures I've seen uh, in all these years, you would Randy Rowe, Tyler Renette, retiring your jersey at Santa Rice, if you will. I want you to recall what, what those emotions were for you and why why you guys went to do that. You know, it, it was one of those things that uh, 
unfortunately, going into the last game uh, as a player, uh, you never want to be in that situation. But we knew we were going into that game, and no matter what, we wanted to give the fans everything that they deserve. You know, uh, there's tough times during the year, ups and lows, and. Uh, they're always there. They might get upset once in a while if the power play is not clicking or you know something like that. But uh, they're always there, and for us to do that, uh, it was just something that we thought the fans and the city deserved. You know, it was uh, they've backed us through ups and downs, and it was just kind of a thanks from us to to them. Well, it, was a, it was a great. Uh Farewell, and, and now tonight a great welcome back for you, Trevor Baker, one of the best captains the franchise has ever had. Congrats to you. Thank you very much, Dave. I would just like to say uh, thank you to everybody, uh, to the committee, for even uh, nominating me uh, to be in this category. is a great honor. Um, I think we'll go with a lot of legends, you know, so. Uh, well, it's a great honor. I thought uh, when we got the cup, it was uh, hard dropping. This is uh, a step more. Uh, I'd like to thank the owners, uh, first and uh, for a great season since I was here. Uh, they were wonderful. I couldn't ask for anything more. Um, last but not least, you fans. Uh, it's great. When I come here every time, I come back every few months to my friends. You guys are like family, and everybody treats me so great. Uh, I love coming back, and uh, you guys are the best. I've played uh, a couple other places, but uh, Peoria is uh, where it's at, that's for sure. Thank you very much.